Hey, hey Asemo, you see the things that artisans are doing in this country? That lands all of us in trouble and it's making us look very, very unprofessional in our line of work. I've come to do an inspection in an area and look at what somebody has done. Eh? You now see what somebody has done in someone's beautifully constructed house and on their wall as a vent for their toilet. This clearly is setting the homeowner up for radical and hatred in the neighborhood. People are going to be angry whenever they pass by this particular house because they'll be saying, ah, are these people correct? Hmm? Just like I've preached, I mean, over and over again, we are working in a country or in a system where there are no standards. So everybody just wakes up, whatever they think is the right thing, then they do it. They will not seek any advice, they will not learn. They will just be doing things, Basa, the whole country things. People are doing construction. And we are saying that vent pipes are for specific purposes. That's fine. Construct a house. You didn't have any sense to do what? A vent for it. Hmm? And now you are saying that, okay, let's do a vent for the, for the biodigester or the vent for the house. You have gone to do the vent and see, you are bringing it out to what? The vent must show so that people can smell your scent. The smell that's coming from the house. Those who are walking by the street, are the one that must fill it but you in the house there you don't want to fill it so you you go to a project site and then you hear plumber say that oh me there i won't put any vent on the on the building yeah we are going to use the vent that the biodigester uh, constructor will put on the biodigester to serve the whole house and i'm like oh brother the vent pipes are for the house the, the vents were never meant for the biodigester the vents were meant for the house so traditionally, those who were constructing septic systems and manholes were also putting vents on it. I understood why people would do that. Because a septic tank or a manhole is a holding tank. Right? It's a holding tank. The water and the human waste are all together. Which means that a time will come, it will become hot. So you need to let some of the air out. So if you have a vent in that scenario, there's nothing wrong with it. But we have said over and over again that biodigester is not a holding tank. It's a biodigester. We let the water out. So there's virtually no heat left in the digester. And what brings the heat most of the time is the water that's in the tank. And biodigesters work well when there's no water in the tank. So why would you go and put a vent on a biodigester saying that you want to let heat out when the heat in it is actually supposed to make it work? Because it has to be airtight. Biodigester works in the absence of oxygen. So if you are putting a vent on it, you are letting it not work to its full capacity. And this thing has been preached over and over again. And we have this problem in this country where people are constructing biodigesters. And they are putting vents on it. An idea of vent is that it has to be tall. It has to be long. So that if there's any bad smell, you can let it out into the air and it can blend with the air. Because if you make it short, it means that you are just letting it stay in the same vicinity where you are trying to let the scent out of. So do not let your vent be short. Then somebody will go and place a vent on a biodigester. And then everybody is clapping for the person that, hey, this is how it must be done. And people are just going about miseducating people and making everybody's work difficult for them. And then we are just setting ourselves up for radical in this part of town. And then it looks like we are not professionals. And we people are, we are letting people spend money unnecessarily on things that do not matter. Hmm? We shouldn't be doing this. This is clearly not what must be done. This vent pipe one, if it's going to be on the wall, you don't have to let it come out into the street or just just on the road. It doesn't look good on the eye and it doesn't it makes us look like we are, we are just villagers in this city, in this town. Your vent must go on the burden. If it goes on the burden, something to hold it firm. So you are putting it on the wall. In the first place, it shouldn't even be on the wall. It should just be on the burden itself. Then the up you go, the better. Up above the window level and then you are fine to go. Everybody must manage their, their issues in their own house. The problem with us and human waste management is that the septic system wasn't working because when the truck shows up and come and takes your human waste, it's just going to dump it in somebody's backyard. They are never taking it to the, to the place they are supposed to take it. Because when they go there, they have to pay money. And the money probably they've charged you is not enough. And even if it's enough, somebody is greedy. So you just want the money to go and enjoy. So you just come and take your human waste from your house. Go to some area that is not developed. You look around, look around, and just dump the human waste there. So, in our own wisdom and with other partners, Ghana realized that look, 
we are a leader in this part of the world when it comes to advancement. So the biodigesters are simple technology. You treat the human waste in your own backyard. If you are taking any um, human waste from the digester, it can be buried at your backyard because it's something that does not smell. It's not going to contaminate any water because the level, the water table will not be affected by the digesters because they do not really get to the water table. So your boreholes are not affected and the water table is not affected that way. So you just have a biodigester in your own backyard. Whatever problem everybody has in the house, manage it in your own small way and let everybody have their peace of mind. Right? So basically those were the ideas for the biodigesters. And the vents are just to let you get the air out of the building in case toilet gets stuck in the lines that have been connected to the digester or the sepsis system. So immediately the, the lines come out. Get the vent. Let it go up. If you do construct and then probably you you you, you cut the, the wall, it can be put inside and then a vent cap will be placed on it and then you can show at the top of the building and then you are good to go. Then now we are just all over the place with vent pipes, vent caps and issues to do with vent and everybody, we, are all, we all just don't know what we are doing. Oh, Ghana. <laughs>